Hello, nerds. Welcome to the post credit show news of the week. I'm Loosh. That's Lockie. We're your hosts live and in living colour on YouTube. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. Lockie, it's time for our favourite subject of the week, news of the week. And let me start with something extremely exciting. Yes. Uh, Wednesday season two. You beat me to it, you Wednesday season man. two. Not only have they added 12 new cast members. Yep, yep, yep. Christopher Lloyd. Oh, you son of a The bitch. original Uncle Fester is back, baby. Yes, mate. Oh. Huge. Now they've also there's a few not returning as well, I've noticed, but they've just swamped, they've just basically removed all of that headline with all these new actors. So you've got bloody um you've got Steve Bassimi as well. He's yep. coming in. Yep. Um Thandy Newton, she's obviously massive. Uh, been in more more <laughs> than a show bag, um, <laughs> and you've also got the young kid from uh, I see dead people. Oh wow! With Hallie Joe, Hall, Hallie Joel uh, Osment, he's oh, in wow. it as well. Okay, they're awesome. just they're just he's going to play Pogsley. I'm calling it right now. Yeah, man, absolutely. An but, adult Pog. Oh, yeah, but anyway. Christopher Lloyd, they they said that he ain't playing Uncle Fester. No, he's not. So who's he going to play? It's a good question. It's a good yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But then again, you had the original um, Christina Ricci who played. Wednesday. Wednesday. Show up and she was the main bad guy yeah, was in, she, in was, Series 1. Was she a teacher one? or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did watch so a few of it. That's that's sick. Yeah, I'm, man. I'm so keen to see what they do with Christopher Lloyd. Uh, big Christopher Lloyd fan. I know you uh, are. Ready Player One. Oof. You ready for it? Bring it. Ready Player Two. Locked in. Okay. Steven Spielberg though, is not going to return to direct. You mean Steven Spielberg? Steven Spielberg. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're, they're sequel. the sequels are in, in development at the moment. They're just finalising the script. Uh, but, yeah, as unfortunately, though, Spielberg, Schmielman, he ain't going to return. So, But you loved the first movie. I personally didn't really understand. I, I understood it, but I didn't really get that into it. Uh, but there's a huge fan base for it. So, mm. yes, there's a sequel that's going ahead there. Exciting. Wicked, as we've spoken about previously. Yep. They're yep, actually yep, going to yep. release that in two parts. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I think that's good. I d- I because they get, they get to tell the whole story. Well, there's no point putting out a two-hour two movie for something that's that, like, the storyline's huge. You yep. can't cram it all in. Yep. So um, I'm actually really happy with that. Padding out that whole Wizard of Oz story and that yep. whole Wicked story and really giving people a reason to invest in it. I think smart move. I agree. Really, really smart move. I do agree with that. Absolutely. Can I talk about some... Ooh, money in the bank, Here baby. We go. Peter Jackson is returning Mate, to this, the Lord of the Rings world. This is a long time coming, my friend. 2026, we have a new Lord of the Rings movie with Peter Jackson yes. at the helm. And? That's all we know at the moment. Ooh. Uh, I, I just... Look... Peter, like Peter Jackson is synonymous with the Lord of the Rings. Peter Jackson yeah. is the reason why the Lord of the Rings is as good as it is. I, agree. I can't wait to see him back, but there is more Lord of the Rings news, and I know you know what I'm talking about. Do you want to know what I'm talking about? You know I know what you want to talk about. Well, <laughs> you know I know you know. You know what it it's, um, yeah, I, I think um, our friend here might help. Distills it from us. Distills the Precious. He's back. <laughs> yes, he's back. Andy Circus is returning <laughs> for a new Lord of the Rings movie called The Hunt for Golem. And not only is he returning as Golem, but apparently he's directing. Oh, smart move. Yeah. Mate, <laughs> The Hunt for Golem, that was me last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I really cannot wait for that. You know I'm a Lord of the Rings nuffy. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, Keen. Keen Keen as beans. Keen as mustard, as they say. Now, there is some unfortunate Lord of the Rings news. Oh, what? Uh, Bernard Hill. Oh. Yeah. Rest in peace, my man. Um, Big fan of yours. I was really, really sad. Really, really sad to hear that you you passed away. Um, 80 years old, though. Had a great career, phenomenal career. Phenomenal um, career. Spectacular actor and like his contribution to the Lord of Rings zeitgeist is, is going to go down yeah. as, as one of the more iconic roles. Um, the way he portrayed the king after the, the whispering from Wormtongue. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, like I t- uh, just, it was just masterful and the transformation yeah. after, after Gandalf arrived. Oh, mate, what an actor. What a, what a loss. Uh, really, really sad news. Um, mm-hmm. So condolences to the Absolutely. family. 
and <clears throat> um, condolences to the, the Lord of the Rings family as well. Absolutely. Um, that's, that was a big loss. The only actor to be part of two films that won more than 10 plus Oscars. Yeah, man. Titanic yeah. and Return of the King. Yeah, spectacular actor. Now, a film that I don't believe you've seen, Heat. Did no, you ever see Heat? I Michael haven't. Mann directing 1995, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer. Yep. Uh, bank robbing heist film. Yep. Second one's now in, the, in discussion. Beautiful. Which, for me as a fan, I want it. Now, this this is one of the best. This is the best bank robbing movie of all time, and I'm always up for that. Austin Butler is rumoured to be playing yes. in the lead. Nice. Now, he is obviously coming off a career-defining role uh, as Elvis Presley. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was also in June Part 2. He's in a couple of other things at the moment. Sorry, sorry. June, June Part 2. June he was in two. that. That was dog <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Um, where was I? Where was I? <laughs> I'm sorry, but June Part 2, June Part 1, like they were... All, no thanks. <laughs> rubbish. Rubbish. The whole series is rubbish. The Rebel first one. Moon was better, and I said that. Oh, shit. I said that. Jeff Bridges, baby. Hey, Tron 3. He's coming back. He's That's exciting. He's coming back. I can't wait for Tron Aries is going to be one of the most hotly anticipated movies because it's so fascinating. Like, uh, there's this whole fandom of Tron fans yeah. who grew up in the 80s, who, who the 1987, uh, when that came out, like, it really kind of broke people's brains a little it bit because it was a type of movie that we'd never seen before. And quite frankly, I don't know that people were, sh were, were ready for it. Yeah. But as, as time went on, it became a bit of a cult classic. It did. And oh, then all massive. of a sudden, Disney announced Tron 2. And then people were like, oh, we didn't ask for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it came out and Daft Punk did the music for it. Yep. And Jeff Bridges returned. And what a banger of a movie. It was good. I think it was 2011 as well. What a banger. So it's a while back. Now, I remember actually going to Disneyland shortly after that came out. Wow. And they made such a big deal out of it that in California Adventure, uh, Disney Disneyland, California Adventureland, mm -hmm. they used to have nighttime raves. Oh wow! Called Electronica, <laughs> and it was all Tron themed. That's cool. It was freaking amazing. Like you could buy cocktails yeah. at this dance party in cups that glowed in the dark and, and that flashed in yeah. neon lights. And they had you, know, you know that laser man guy who juggles lasers in his hands and does all these. Mm -hmm. It was just like one of my fondest memories of my trips to the United States yeah, back in the, the early 2010s. And I'm so here for Tron Aries. I can't wait yeah, for it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Doesn't have a release date at this stage, but I'm guessing it's going to be probably that 2025, 2026 kind of, because it's going to take them a long time to film yeah, that. The amount, yeah. of, the amount of work that goes into this. Um, I've heard also the budget wise, it's going to be 250 mil plus. Good. Good. So do they're, really, they're going to do it right. Russell Crowe. Oh, I wonder where this was going. The Pope's Exorcist. Yes, too. I saw. Now, The Pope's Exorcist was amazing. Yeah, okay. It was amazing. And and um, uh, uh, your partner and I actually went out on our own little date night because you, mm. you're a bit of a pussy and you can't handle anything that's got the slightest bit of <laughs> angst to it. So... Um, Get the nightmares. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mate, you are a nightmare. I don't, oh. I don't understand how you don't like horror given your life. But, yeah. um, <laughs> my life is a horror film, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, look, I can't wait. I think I think Rusty did so good in the first one. Okay. And, and if that's if that's – if we've got an ongoing story that's about to be told there, I am here for it. Yeah. You did. You did speak about um, how much you did enjoy that. Oh, movie. I loved it. I loved it. The past. Hey, so obviously we've got Deadpool and Wolverine coming out soon. Yep. Uh, Hugh Jackman is, I think, one of the hottest properties in the world right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Fair to say. Jodie Comer and Hugh Jackman are starring in a brand new reboot of a dark Robin Hood series. Oh, wow! I can't I'm, wait. I'm there. Wow! I. I have no, I've not heard anything about I, that. that. That is all we know. That is intense, man. I can't wait. Like, we've had some amazing Robin Hood movies, like Robin Hood Men in Tights with Kerry Elwes, where men, women in tights, <laughs> tights, tights. You know, like that that whole Monty <laughs> yeah. Python kind of, yep. that was hilarious. That yep. was funny. That was stupid. And then you had Kevin Costner with Morgan Freeman in yep. um, Prince of uh, Thieves. Prince of Thieves. I think it was, yeah. That was a brilliant movie. It hasn't aged well. Hasn't it? I watched it about a month ago. Oh, and, man. I yeah. remember when it came out. And like, this is, I, I credit that movie mm -hmm. for my love of Morgan Freeman. Oh, hey, well, that was his big break. Yeah, I, to, to me, that was that was peak more. That that was like, oh, just 
amazing. He did that, and then after that, he did Shawshank, I believe. Yeah. So that was when he really kind of came to came to the light of Hollywood. Um, but yeah, Robin Hood, great story. Um, yep. The last one with uh, Russell Crowe was all right. That's good. And then they did that other one with um, Taron Egerton, oh, which was absolutely, pff, I'm going to say, it was dog shit. <laughs> Um, so hopefully, yeah, they can get this one right. But if you got Hugh Jackman in the in the cast, mate, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get a peak performance, mate with, mate. with Hugh Jackman in the cast, all I can say is, can I get a? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, going over to a horror of a horror franchise that I actually do enjoy. Netflix has won the rights for Scooby Doo. Oh that's that, that's oh, horror, horror, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, Scooby-Doo is going to get a live action series, which is going to be released on Netflix. Um, rumors was are, this the same one that James Gunn was like, oh, yes, I could do it better? R-rated and all that kind of jazz. So Netflix have won it. I don't think James Gunn's going to be involved, but you never know. Um, the word is, though, recently they were talking about the cast was going to return. This apparently is a reboot. Okay, good. So good. we won't be able to see um, Sarah Michelle Gellar again in that you know, sexy little purple outfit. We'll have to, uh, yeah, see what happens there. I just want to say this about James Gunn. Mm. I actually kind of like James Gunn. I, love James I know Gunn. I've ragged on him, a little, on him a little bit in the past, but I like James Gunn. Mm -hmm. And I think for James Gunn, the one piece of advice that me as a fan that I would give him, mm. don't go and around with anything else that's not DC. Focus on making DC yeah. good. Yeah, stay in your lane, baby. Please, yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. Do not go and play around with other properties. Do what Kevin Feige is doing and focus your energy yep. Yep. on what you know. Yeah, yeah. Do it and do it well. I agree. That's my words of wisdom to you, Mr. Gunn. There you go, Mr. Gunn. We love you. We do love you. This is a favourite of yours, Sausage Party. <laughs> Why is it a favourite of mine, you <laughs> absolute plonk? <laughs> you flee. Sausage Party 2 is now in development. It's going to be a series as well. Yeah, Money in the Bank right there, baby. Seth Rogen is an Mate, absolute that comedic genius. That film was brutal, man. Like I loved it. Loved though. it. Um, so that's going to be uh, – that's in development now. So hopefully we can see that next year. Um, were you ever a fan of Pitch Perfect? No. No? Nah, all right. They're making a fourth. Same cast, all returning. Uh, doesn't excite me at all. I think the first one was all right. The last two were dog <laughs> Um You know how much I love Sony. <laughs> These mother beepers. <laughs> These guys didn't learn from... They clearly didn't watch Lockie Loses It. What they are now in development for another Men in Black movie. Oh, God. Who are they going to try to bring in to save uh, it this time? God knows. But... Can I just say, oh. I loved watching you throw your book across the room. <laughs> well, mate, if they keep producing this rubbish, it's going to be happening a lot more. You might end up with Lockie losing I've, it once a month. Oh, I've got some actual... I, could, I, I was... I've actually got something nice to say about Sony. Uh -oh. I didn't. I just. Uh -oh. I just remembered. But they're doing Men in Black. You shouldn't be doing it. Learn. Move on. In a positive, even though it's a negative for me, it's a positive. They're not gonna make Venom Four. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> so Venom Three: The Last Dance is gonna be the final Venom film. Good. Thank God. Disney, get in there, get those rights back and make this work because, mate, after the second one, I got no confidence in the third See, the whatsoever. problem is, though, I just can't see Disney getting it back off Marvel. because uh, off, uh, off Sony. Sony. Yeah. I just can't see them giving it up. I know. but I, I really can't. Wishful thinking, my friend. But, yeah, they're going to make a third yeah. and they said this is the end of the Venom. So... Good. That's very good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, Michelle Yao. Amazing. I adore Michelle Yao so, so I. much. So I, think, I. I think she is one of the most underrated and most talented actors in Hollywood yeah. right now. Yes. And to see her being cast as the main star for Blade Runner 2099. Oh, are they doing another Blade Runner? Yeah, brother. Wow. Okay. I can't wait. Yeah, wow. She's good. everything all uh everything everywhere all at once. Yep. Was a masterpiece. It was an absolute masterpiece. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It is an absolute masterpiece. It's got, uh, what's his name? The guy who played Ouroboros in um, uh, Loki. 
Him and Michelle, yeah, they're just absolutely spectacular <laughs> movie. Honestly, go and watch it. What's but Michelle movie? Yao is amazing, Mate, and she, I'm so happy to see her getting the 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 credit and the credos that she deserves. Well, she's just, been a favorite. So, yeah, she's been a favorite of mine since '97. She's yeah. actually in Tomorrow Never Dies, which is one of the James Bond movies. Her and, and Ming Na Wen are my two favorite actors. At yeah, the moment. like I, I'm just <clears> big <throat> fans, big fans. The boys. Next season coming up five? in a minute. E, no, uh, four. I can't remember. Four, four, I think. Well, maybe even three. I, I don't know. Four. I don't know. Well, there's so much blood and so much crap that goes on in it. I absolutely <laughs> love every single bit of it. I don't even care about the numbers. I just want to see more of it. Yep. Um, but unfortunately, in the process of um, the post-production and, yeah. and putting together the, the final cut, yeah. uh, there was some sad news. Oh. Um. Chance per, per Chance Pertamo uh, from Gen V, which okay. is kind of like a, a tangent uh, connected series oh. that was connected to the universe, died in a motorbike accident, oh, which is so sad. Oh, heard um, about that. He was a, a he was incredible in the show. He was such a brilliant actor. That's a shame. Really, really sad news. Um, that means that season two of Gen Five, uh, Gen V, has been postponed indefinitely. Of makes sense. Um, That's a shame. Yeah, really, really talented actor. Really, really sad news. Yeah. Roadhouse. Yep. Amazon. You've seen it. We yep. watched it loved together. It. Actually loved, loved it. it. Thought it was really good. Number two. Bang. Green lit. Love Get that. in there. Start filming. Uh, Amazon has also given the green light for a Tomb Raider series. I've heard about that. I can't wait oh, for that. I am it is going to be really, going to be really, really, really hard to 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 compare that to what we've already got. I think I actually think though it being a series works. Yeah, I think it does too. The storyline, obviously, the video game, it it was it always had that potential to be you know of length. I and think that that's what they should have done with Uncharted. That's a bloody good share. I think that's what they should have done with Uncharted. That is a good share. Because yeah, that movie man. is absolute, it's bollocks. Yeah. I hate it. Um, but it could have been so much better because yeah. you could have expanded on the storyline and yeah. really created something that people invested in. I think that's a great move. We've I do seen as well. Fallout do it. We've yeah, seen yeah. Um, One Piece do it. We've, yep. seen, you know, there, we've seen so many great new series coming that's out right. based on other content, be it an anime, be it games. Yep. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I'm pumped, man. I'm, I'm a huge fan as well. Uh, and I'm going to finish on a bit of Zac Efron news, which uh, I think might work. I don't know. But what there's apparently a new high school musical film coming out. Yeah. And Zacky Boy and Zacky Boy is rumoured to be returning. I did hear about this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know either. I, yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about that because I think – that Zac Efron did his title. Like, man, he's so much better than that now. 2008 was the last one. He's so, so much better than that now. And going back to that, I feel like, I just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel well, about they it. They made the TV series on Disney Plus, mm. which um, I don't believe uh, Vanessa Hudgens, I don't think, returned. No. I don't think Zac definitely didn't return. Definitely not. So if, if this movie does get made, I think it actually might be him maybe... As a small role, there might be an appearance. I wouldn't. I don't suggest if it's a cameo. Great. I think that's what we're going to see. I don't believe he's going to be the star at thirty, what, thirty five, thirty six years of age of a film yeah, called High School Musical. Like, I it might be. I a, don't want it. Maybe be, he comes back as the singing teacher, but even then, like, yeah, man, I just, I just feel like he's done his time in that universe. Yeah, I agree. And I think yep. that there is so mm. much more left for him to do in Hollywood. Yeah, bro, leave that and just, mm. yeah, I just, I saw that and I'm like, oh. I hope that his agent's in his ear going, hey, mm, yeah. maybe not. Hey, but then again, maybe the money's good. If he needs it. I don't know that he does, he especially if he's negotiating with Marvel. I hope he gets that, man. I, yeah, I, me too. I, we're, we're rooting for you, Zach. Um, obviously, he, I don't know if he knows, he, he was actually living in Australia for yeah. a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I love him. Good We're dude. huge fans. Um, we have really seen, rooting for have you, Have you seen his latest movie, Ricky Stanicki? Oh my god! It is the most hilarious thing I've seen. Yeah, um, it is stupid. It is dumb. Yeah. it is moronic. It is absolutely <laughs> pathetic in every way. And it's amazing. John Cena is in it, and it is freaking hilarious. How do you know John Cena? Is in it? I don't know. I don't know. I saw his name on oh, the front of it. That. <laughs> was that the one where he? Because they filmed that in Australia. Yeah, filmed it. And he like, was they filmed, filmed it here in Melbourne. That's right, and he was, it was filmed wearing like a, a mini skirt kind of. 
when you see oh, okay. why, when you the, see yeah. why, oh, mate, just such an incredibly <laughs> funny, like I said, funny because it is so freaking stupid. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. We need to watch The Iron Claw, I believe. I think so, too. I think it's time. I think We've so. put it off for too long. So. But, Zach, I love you. Loosh loves you. We're rooting for you, yeah, mate. mate. Um, huge fans. Uh, if you ever see this video, please reach out. We'd love to... Uh, We'd, I'd love to get him on the show, mate. mate I'd, I'd love to sink a few brewskis with Oh, I would love to have a beer with Zach Efron. Speaking of um, my favourite, my second favourite studio head. Yeah. James Gunn. Oh, what's what's he done now? He has released no. a first look oh. at David Corrinsweet's Superman. Okay. And I'm going to flash this in front of you. Yeah. We're going to show don't, everybody don't. else as well. Yeah. Mate. You're putting your shoes on. There's a battle going on in the background. What's going on? You, you know, no sense of urgency <laughs> right there, mate. There's there's a lot there's a lot that people are saying about this photo. Yeah, that is worrying me oh, about the DC universe. Yeah, because if you're going to show me a first look at Superman, mm. I like I want an iconic Superman pose. Yeah, I want an iconic Superman moment. I yeah. want this is this is the first time Corin Sweet has been seen in this role, and that's what they released. And him, I think that was such a bad decision. That's terrible. Him putting a shoe on. I would have actually been okay with them not showing any pictures of him, even in the trailer. Yeah, until the movie till drops. So you get it right. That's that's rushed. That yeah. is that's rubbish. Yeah. Sorry. So look, I'm I'm still I'm tentatively excited. Yeah. I really like I I, I everything in my soul wants the DC cinematic universe to get it right. to rival Marvel. Yeah. I'm a Batman fan from way back. I grew yeah, up a yeah. DC fan. Yeah, yeah. I love mm. DC and I want them to do it right. I want it so goddamn bad. Mm. I'm nervous because no one's been able to do it yet. The last person who did it well was freaking Tim Burton in the 90s. Oh, well, Christopher Nolan did a But it wasn't pretty but good that job. wasn't that wasn't the DC Cinematic Universe. True, that was a standalone that was like, story, get right. you know? Yeah, like, I get it. And, like, Robert Pattinson's Batman is also really great. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a it's a long movie. I've um, seen it. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm the, surprised that you could focus the for Batman, more than 15 minutes. Yeah, that was... I love... <laughs> I loved the Batman. I think I, I was I was one of the reluctant few. I was like, oh, Robert Pattinson, nah, mate, loved he's him. gonna he's gonna be like a sparkly vampire Batman. <laughs> but I loved it. Matt Reeves did a very very oh, good job. I can't wait that. for the second one. Um, yeah. But I just don't. I'm nervous about the DC universe. I'm nervous about what James is doing. Yeah. I I really James I, again. If you hear this ever down the track. I don't hate you. In fact, I'm I'm rooting for you, man. Please do this right. Yeah, yeah, please. As a fan, do this right. Before we go, what one you, last big one. What are you finishing up on? You want to go to Vegas? Yeah, why? April 19th and 20th, oh. 2025. <laughs> Allegiant Stadium. Yep. WrestleMania 41, baby. Boom, boom, 41. Boom. Let's go. Rumors already swirling yep. that we might actually finally get Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, <laughs> versus The Rock. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Just find a new angle. Move no, on. No, from no, no, that. no, 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 no. Everyone wanted to see it. Everyone yeah. wants to see it. It will be the biggest, the bit like, it just, yeah. True. Yeah. This so, WrestleMania this year was why it ha is still to this day widely regarded as one of the biggest entertainment events mm -hmm. in popular culture history yeah oh it was good it broke it was... every record for social media engagement you say i remember i remember you every remember. single record for social media engagement mm -hmm. and it, it gave a finish to a story that the fans have been begging and aching for for yeah. two years. It was brilliant storytelling. We are we are balls deep in the Paul Levesque <laughs> era, the Triple H era yeah. in WWE, and I cannot wait. And I'm going to it. What's the ticket worth? Uh thousands of dollars. Like if you like those ringside seats, I think from memory, those ringside seats, yeah. like the ones where you see the people in the the, the front, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were like ten thousand US dollars. Jesus Christ. But mate, I'm I'm calling you up, Hunter. I want media passes. I want one too. No, don't worry about him. <laughs> I'll take his missus instead. Oh yeah. I'll just go to the, I'll just go to I'll just go to the slots at Caesars, mate. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but hey, um 
Great news, man. I'm, oh. I'm, there is some good things coming, man. There's some great things coming, and there's so much more that we haven't covered, man. There is. Um, but we wanted to keep it short and sharp, 25 minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been Loosh. That's been Lockie. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere you want to hear our voices. We love keeping you company while you're driving to work or yeah, when you've do. got your, your dual screen on your computer listening <laughs> to us, and we know what you're doing on the other screen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hi to your mum for me. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>